Hey guys, how's it hanging everybody? This is Storm Pow, and wanted to make this video here to share the setup that I've been using in 2020 for gaming and live streaming and YouTubing, podcasting. You'll notice here that this is actually our guest bedroom, but it's also primarily my office because, you know, gotta have friends to have guests. So this is where the magic happens. And I know you may already be thinking right now, Storm Pow, why do you need so many dang monitors? Well, the answer is I don't, but hey, on the left monitor, I like to keep Discord open as well as Windows Task Manager so I can keep an eye on communication, the server, you know, everything that's going on. And in the middle monitor, I've normally got my game running, whether it be a PC game or I've got the Elgato screen up there for my console game. And on the right monitor, I normally keep Streamlabs open and the Twitch Stream Manager. And if I'm not streaming, that's where Google Chrome is at. Now over here, this is actually a computer that I'm using right now to work from home. So that one barely counts, but hey, it's nice. And over here, I've just got my pretty basic mouse and keyboard that came with the computer. Those headphones are some that I actually got online for pretty cheap as well. They're Bluetooth and of course the PlayStation 4 Pro right there. So this is my mic. This is the Behringer XM8500. Awesome, awesome mic for the price. And I love it to death. It was my entry into XLR microphones. Really, really good device. It's like 30 bucks, guys. I keep it mounted on this mount that I don't even remember when I've had, but honestly, it works out really great. I got it when there was a brief stint that I wanted to get into voice acting, but it works really great as a stream stand. And also, this is the Behringer Euphoria UM2, and that is my audio interface for my XLR. I love it. It's got an audio jack over there for your monitoring. It's only got one input, but honestly, that's all that I really need right now. And again, this is a pretty cheap device. So really great if you're looking for an entry level into XLR, I would really recommend it to a lot of people. For the webcam, I honestly just run a Logitech C922. It's really great. It does 60 FPS and it's supposed to not really do 60 FPS on 1080p, but I've gotten a way to tweak the settings where it pretty much is 60 FPS on 1080p. So for streams, it's fine. And these lights, I've actually got a whole video on my YouTube channel about these lights because I love them. For 30 freaking bucks, I got these lights and I've honestly kind of had to jerry rig them a little bit so that way they work right for my setup over here. But I run two of them. And again, these were 30 bucks for both of these lights and they work perfectly for what I need right here. So if you look, I've actually got one of them freaking zip tied to a lamp that I've always had. Now this lamp isn't even plugged in. I don't even use the lights on it because you know, the lights aren't really that great for streaming lights and things like that. But I love the shape of the lamp. So I zip tied one of the mounts to it and it works. You know, they came with these tripod mounts and that was originally what I wanted to use them as, but they took up a lot of desk space and they just felt janky. So I, I ended up just doing that. I mean, not to say that what I'm doing right now isn't equally janky, but I approve of this jankiness a little bit more. And the other one, I actually don't have standing on anything. I just usually leave it sitting somewhere. I sometimes periodically move that depending on exactly how I want it to look because I actually broke the tripod stand that was on this one. So I have no choice but to do it like that. But honestly, it works. Down here, I've actually got an ethernet line that I ran myself. I uh, ran it through the crawl space of my house and fished this uh, jack in here. It was one of the few skills that I actually really am glad that I learned um, back when I used to install cable and internet. So really glad that I was able to do that. Helps out my internet a lot when I'm streaming. And so this chair right here actually got online on Amazon and honestly, I love it to death. It wasn't too expensive. I'm not really one to care about the name brands of the chairs because shoot, my head is supposed to be covering up the logo, so it gets the job done very much so and wasn't very expensive. It sure beat the heck out of my old chair, which is this thing right here, which uh, as you can tell, has some wear and tear on it. So uh, yeah, my, my back hurts just looking at this chair. And how do you not show the computer? I mean, the computer's nothing special, don't get me wrong, but we still got a shower, all right? Not gonna lie, it is a pre-built. This was my first gaming PC after not having one for a long time, so I was just wanting to get something entry-level and get in quick. Did not want to 
have my first uh, getting back into PC gaming endeavor be one where, you know, it involved a whole lot of work of potentially even messing up the computer, putting it together. So the specs are nothing crazy, but it is enough to where I can game, record, live stream all at the same time. So not too bad, you know, nothing crazy. I don't play on max settings on a lot of games that I record or live stream, but hey, definitely gets the job done and wasn't too bad on price. But next computer, we're definitely beefing it up a little bit, not gonna lie. And of course, we've got the Elgato HD 60S down there. Nice and simple. Got an HDMI going up there to the PlayStation. And uh, I'm not much of a sticker guy, but I do got a rep Behringer and Elgato, of course. Two of the, the brands that I do kind of whore out for a little bit. And this is just a shelf that I've got here in the background. I've got some wood carvings that my uh, late grandfather actually made. That was one thing that he always... Uh, really did that fascinated me when I was younger, so I've inherited a lot of those, but there's really not a lot going on here. I've got um, some different things over here, an antique typewriter, a little globe, because I always kind of like the aesthetic of like globes and old clocks, and there's a picture of me from high school uh, in a play that I was in, one of the cases for an extra mic that I've got, and some other stuff, and you know, this is just the junk pile, because you guys don't normally see that. Have you ever bought fireworks and then missed out on the 4th of July party and, and you just got fireworks? Where, where, where else do you keep those? Come on, guys. My uh, fiance's yoga mat. Then we got board games, things of that nature over here. And this is where she keeps books because, you know, she's the only one that actually reads, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, you know, we've got kind of her stuff up here. More for the aesthetic and everything like that. But, uh, you know, like I said, you guys don't see that part too much. And uh, we used to keep a picture of our squad, but then there was some squad drama and one of the people is no longer in the squad, so they out. And this is a Charmander that I built. One of my friends got me this for Christmas one time, and I built that and thought that I was gonna become a Lego master, but turned out that was the only one that I ever built. And just kind of, again, some other stuff here. This is where my dog is supposed to sleep, but uh, as you can tell, she prefers to sleep on the actual bed. And how do you say no to that face? I mean, honestly. So that's Freya. That is my dog. She is about a year and a half old right now, and she is the best doggo. I'm sure that if you've attended my live streams, you've given her a treat. You guys can use channel points on my Twitch live stream to go ahead and get her a treat. Oh, and she uh, she was expecting that one. So anyway, this is a close up view of her getting a treat, which you guys are very used to. And this is a picture of me and my fiance when we first started dating, and I promise I'm not blackout drunk in that picture. But we do have this one where we look a little bit more wholesome there, you know, just to kind of balance it out a little bit right there. That's definitely what our guests want to be looking at. And uh, yes, this is most definitely a pillow that was designed after my fiance's cat. And this right here is our flat earth map, I guess, you know, in case we have a flat earther staying in the guest room, we definitely want them to feel at home and we want them to uh, be able to take a look and, and know what part of the world they're in. And these are also some uh, fishing lures that my grandpa had put in a case for me. You know, it's just kind of some things that I've collected throughout the years and I've got hanging up in here. And this is a picture of what it looks like when I go outside, which isn't very often. And that's the setup, guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to rate and comment on the video and also subscribe if you're not already. So that way you can get some more content and also be sure to check out my Twitch and everything down below. Links for all that will be down below in the description. And again, if you want to purchase any of the items that I talked about here, please be sure to check out the Amazon affiliate links down below as well. Um, and feel free to let me know about your own setup. What are some things that are maybe similar or some suggestions you'd have for my setup? I'm always here for some feedback. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you guys have a nice day and goodbye.